my fridge is off now, so it's a little quieter now, which is good. All right, so let's start. Monday. You guys have seen me eat this before for breakfast, brunch, whatever you want to call it. I make this like avocado mash, so I cut up half an avocado and I put black pepper and feta cheese crumbles and I mix that up and I have like a little, I don't even know what you call that, little avocado feta salad. <laughs> um, and it's good, it's got healthy fats. I love feta cheese, I love cheese just in general. Um, and that is like, I like crave it after my workout sometimes. I used to, for a while, I was eating that every single morning. Um, you will notice a trend throughout the week. I love avocados. I eat usually half an avocado a day, sometimes a whole one. Um, it, they're just, I just love them and it's healthy fats. So, um, so I have that and then that holds me over until I have my lunch two hours later. And this new thing I've been doing is for lunch, I make these little cucumber sandwiches. I make regular sandwiches too with bread sometimes, but my new like hyper fixation is making uh, cucumber sandwiches. So I cut up cucumbers into like decently thick slices and I put um, a little slice of cheese. I buy like the pre-cut blocks of cheddar. So I put a slice of that, a slice of like turkey deli meat. I get the smoked turkey because I think it just tastes better. And that's my little sandwich and I make a bunch of them. I'll cut up almost like a whole cucumber um, for that little meal. And the cheese keeps me full. I'm getting protein from the turkey and it just tastes good. I, I found that on Pinterest um, a couple months ago and that's like my hyper fixation now. So I love that. Then I always have a bag of like popcorn or pretzels or something that I bring to work like every day. I've known for it. I bring my little Ziploc bag and my little snack like I'm in school. So I, um, I had some gluten-free pretzels. Uh, my friend introduced me to gluten-free pretzels. They're from Schneider's. Um, and this was back when I was like, you know, having tummy issues and she also was too. And she was like, you should try these. They might be better for your stomach. And even though I'm not having those problems anymore, I think that the gluten-free pretzels taste so much better the, than the original. And that is not said about like anything gluten-free ever. Um, so now I'm just like, I'm hooked on them and I like them better than regular pretzels. So, so between all that, like I'm going full until like 6 30 and then i tried something new from trader joe's which is the first time i tried it this past week it was the frozen beef and broccoli from trader joe's and so it came with a big packet of sauce a big packet of meat and then i made um some white rice on the side and that was like my meal prep i normally don't really meal prep luna i don't really meal prep um much usually because I like to have something different every day. I get bored eating the same thing every day, me personally. But I did end up doing it this week and it made me like three portions as, as you'll see. Um, it was really good. It's a little bit spicy. It's like sweet and spicy. Um, I'm a weenie when it comes to spicy food and like it was perfect for me so it's not that spicy. Um, hi, can you stop? Would you like to tell them why you're being a little brat today? So I had that with a little bit of white rice and it was actually really good, really, well, really, really good. So I enjoyed that. And then I always bring a little container of some sort of fruit. It's usually berries. Usually I buy like a carton of blueberries every week and I bring blueberries, but lately I've been on a kick of just like, I want all the berries. So I, this week I bought blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries and I just mix them together and bring some to work. Um, and then when I got home, I had two of my, um, vanilla meringues from Trader Joe's. I have a whole YouTube short uh, about them on my channel. Um, I discovered them, like, two months ago, and I love them. They satisfy.
satisfy my sweet tooth. You guys know this about me. Like, I need to have my sweet tooth satisfied, like, every day. Um, and they're literally, it's egg whites, sugar, and vanilla. They're very light. Um, and I just like to have a little something, something when I get home. So, so that was Monday. Tuesday, for breakfast, I had a Greek yogurt. Nothing to really say about that, but this is my favorite type of Greek yogurt. It's got 15 grams of protein, I believe. I usually get either the mixed berry one or the strawberry one because it just tastes really, really good. And on top, I put some berries and just mix that all up, and it's really filling and it's just good. I just, I do that, so I do that like twice a week now. Um, I try to really switch it up because I'm telling you for a while I was really, really eating the same thing every single morning. Sorry, I think I have cat hair in my eye. Um, yeah, so that was my breakfast. Then I had, um, a little tuna salad for my lunch. Um, I've made this before. I buy the little packets of, of tuna in water and I put a little bit of pepper. I use vegan mayo, uh, dice up some cucumber, mix it all together. It's usually celery, but I like cucumber better. Mix that all up, and then I eat it with crackers. I usually buy rice crackers, but I have this big bag of tiny little crackers from Trader Joe's that is lasting me forever, and I just keep them. I just keep them at work. Um, Whenever I have tuna salad, I have the crackers. <laughs> Guys, how do you get your cat to stop biting? <laughs> She's really starting it now. She has like deep teeth, so now it hurts. Um, and then after lunch, I had my snack, and that day I had popcorn. I buy the like Himalayan sea salt one. There is a pink one, which is like pink Himalayan salt, and then the golden one, which is like more buttery. I like the pink one a little bit better. It kind of tastes like coconut. It's really good. It sounds weird, but it's really good. Um, so I love my popcorn. I have popcorn more than I have pretzels. Pretzels is like, I'm gonna treat myself kind of thing. So then for dinner, I had the same thing. I had the beef and broccoli with rice. And then already two days in a row of that, I was like, okay, I know I have more in the fridge of that, but tomorrow I need to, I need to switch it up. Um, then I had my berries, same thing, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries. I pretty much have that every day. And I know, I know berries have, like, a lot of sugar, and you do have to be careful, but it's not like I'm eating pounds of it. Um, but blueberries every day is very good, because they have antioxidants and all the things. And then, um, I also had an apple that day. My favorite apple is the Gala apples. Um, they're just crispy and just really sweet and really good. So, I cut up an apple and I had that as, like, my late night snack. I also have, I sound like such a grandma, I have a cup of tea at work every day <laughs> as well after my dinner. I just have, um, a peppermint tea. It's just, like, habitual now at this point. All right, then Wednesday, Wednesday, we're going to switch it up a little bit. So, for breakfast, I did have the half avocado and feta, a little, little scramble. Again, I had to use up the rest of that avocado. I was mad this week because I usually buy three avocados um, whenever I go grocery shopping, and I got one that was really, it was bad, and when I picked them, they all seemed fine and normal, and then that one, the first one that I went to open that week, was, like, literally black inside, it was disgusting, so I don't know what happened there, obviously threw that out, um, so I only had two avocados to work with this week, but that's okay, um, then, so I had a whole avocado this day, so then for lunch, I had a turkey burger, my favorite turkey burgers are from Trader Joe's, and there's nothing to them. It's literally just a frozen patty. I make it on the stove. It takes like 10 minutes. It's super easy. Um, so I drizzled some ketchup on that and I put the avocado, the other half of the avocado on top. 
and uh, I ate it without bread. I just like to I like to cut it up and eat it in between the avocado and like the the meat. I, leaves me pretty full. And again, like I'm eating at two thirty, three o'clock, and then I'm gonna eat again at six thirty. So you know what I mean. So it's like I eat a bunch of like little things throughout the day, very close together, which I didn't even realize until. I was like writing my notes to make this video and I was like, I eat kind of weird, but it just is what works for me. Um, then my after lunch snack was my pretzels again. Then Wednesday for my dinner, I made a pasta salad, which is one of my go-tos. It's my favorite. I use gluten-free barilla pasta. Um, I put some grilled chicken in there. I buy the Purdue pre-made, pre-sliced grilled chicken. I buy a packet of that every week and it, oh, it's such a lifesaver. Um, and then I dice up some, sounds weird, just go with me. It tastes good. I cut up some carrots, cucumber again, salt and pepper, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And then I have, um, this like vegan Caesar dressing that again, I bought when I was going through my tummy issues and I was like, I need to buy things that are easier to digest. And I just fell in love with it. And now I still eat it. I buy it on Amazon like once a month, get a nice big bottle of it. It is pretty expensive, but that's because it's vegan. Um, so every once in a while I'll do that and I just drizzle it in and then I shake the whole thing up and it's really, really good. But this day, I don't know what got into me. I think I was rushing that day. I forgot my dressing. So I brought the salad and it was just dry. And I was like, no, no, no. So I went into the break room at work and they had like packets of ranch. And it was like craft ranch, which was fine. It was fine. It worked out, but it was not the same. It was not the same, but it was better than eating it dry. So, um, so that was my pasta salad. Then this day, my two coworkers who are also like my friends, one of them was like, do you guys want to order bubble tea today? And I'm such a yes man. I was like, yeah, 100% I do. Um, and this was actually the best bubble tea I've ever had. I got strawberry fruit tea with the tapioca pearls in it. So, so good. I got with 25% uh, sugar. Um, because you need a little bit of something, but I don't like too much sugar. Um, it, honestly, one of the best bubble teas I've ever had. I thought it was so good. It was a nice little midweek treat. Then I did have my berries, which, like, looking back, I was like, a lot of sugar back to back, but it's fine. It's a healthy sugar, okay? Um, so I had some berries, and then I did have an apple that day as well. Um, that was a good day. That was a lot of good food in that day. That was a good day. Thursday made some avocado toast, um, two slices of toast, some avocado on the top, and I put some feta cheese on top, I think, right? I must have, um, and that's why I didn't put the everything bagel seasoning, because I usually do, but if I'm putting feta, then I feel like it doesn't need it. I had, side note, I had the most amazing avocado toast the other day. I went out to eat with my family, and it was like an old restaurant that my dad used to work at, and he like was one of the, the chefs there when it opened many, many years ago. It was like a whole big thing. He saw a lot of old friends. It was cute, but they gave us some free food whenever one of the things that we ordered was avocado toast. And I'd never had avocado toast like that. It was the toast with like a goat cheese spread and then avocado on top and then like some seasoning on top. Guys, it was phenomenal. So now I want to buy goat cheese so that I can make that myself because it was fantastic. Okay, then for lunch, I had my same tuna salad and crackers. I usually eat that like twice a week as well. I had popcorn and then I didn't take a um, clip of this, but it was like World Happiness Day or something like National Happiness Day. I don't know. And um, my coworker brought in cupcakes and they were like the little tiny, tiny, tiny ones um, that are like, you should pop them in like one, one bite kind of cupcakes. So I had one of those. It was chocolate with purple frosting and it was really good. Um, so I had a cupcake and then I did, I wanted to finish up my beef and broccoli with rice. So I had some of that for my dinner and I actually still had some left over, which was crazy. So it made a lot. And then I had my typical berries 
place as like my dessert. I probably had a meringue that night when I got home too, but I didn't write that down so I don't remember. But knowing me, I probably did. Then Friday, Friday, I don't know what like came over me. I normally never eat before I work out, really, because I just get like I get cramps um, in my abdomen. So I just don't. But I woke up so hungry that day, which is rare. Um, so I had a baby bell cheese. Uh, if you're not familiar with baby bell, it's essentially like a tiny, tiny wheel of cheese in wax. And they have different flavors. They have the light one, which is blue. The orange one is cheddar. And the red one is just the original. They have a black one too. I forget what that one is. Um, I buy the blue ones typically. And um, they're just a nice little snack. I ate those when I was a kid. I have, have like vivid memories of bringing those to school. And then like we would all play with the wax and stuff. <laughs> um, so I had a baby bell before I like worked out and I was I was fine but I just needed a little something so I had a baby bell on Friday I wish you guys could see Luna it's raining today like raining hard and I don't think she's ever really seen rain like this before and she's just sitting on the windowsill like looking up at the sky it's really cute okay then for my actual like breakfast after I worked out I had my yogurt and berries again Friday is very repetitive, so I'll go through it fast. For lunch, I had my cucumber sandwiches with my cheese and turkey. I really, like, that is my favorite thing right now. I genuinely look forward to eating it. I think it's so yummy. Um, so I had that. Then I had popcorn as my little snack. And then I wanted to use the leftover, like, broccoli. I didn't have any chicken left, but I had some broccoli leftover. So I put the remaining rice I had with the broccoli, and then I had some grilled chicken left over from earlier in the week. So I threw all of that together, and then I also made some maduros. If you don't know what maduros is, they're sweet plantains. They're the, the yellow ones. They're the sweet ones. And then um, the green platano that they, they sell at supermarkets, that's the ones that they usually like fry up and make tostones with. Um, I made maduros. I didn't make them. I didn't make them. Okay. I buy them frozen from the Goya section <laughs> of the supermarket. I love that my mom made maduros all the time. All the time. Even sometimes when I go home now, she'll make maduros. They're just so sweet and like soft and just yummy. So I threw a couple of those in the oven and I mixed that with my dinner. Mixed it all together. So good. Um, if you have a Goya section in your supermarket, look for the, the Maduros and try them and let me know what you think because I think they're so good. I was raised on them. I love them. I'm sure some of you were raised on it as well. So that was my dinner and that was pretty like filling. That was good. And then um, I had an apple and then I had some berries. And then as like a Friday night treat, I had these peanut butter cups. Um, I'll put a clip here. I love these. Um, this is actually the first time I got the almond butter. I usually get the peanut butter ones. I think I grabbed the almond butter um, as, oh, like uh, by accident. It was still good, but it definitely tasted a little different just because I wasn't used to it, but they were good. Um, I've been a fan of those for like two years now, and I really, really like them. Um, obviously, nothing can compare to Reese's Pieces. No, I was going to say Reese's Pieces. No. Reese's bars, but um, they're still really good, and just I know I had a nice little Friday treat. And yesterday, yesterday was Friday. Um, we had a going away party for one of our friends um, who was who was leaving our job, and um, so I knew I was gonna go out and get my little whiskey sour. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna make sure that I'm really gonna like eat today. So that was my week of eating. This week was, I think, a little bit more repetitive than it usually is, so sorry about that. But I also have, like, especially for lunch, like, I have my rotations of, like, I make this twice a week, this twice a week, and then, you know, like, I have my favorites that I just kind of cycle through, so. That's just a glimpse, but again, every week is different. Also, try not to be, like, I see comments all the time, like, she doesn't eat enough. It's like, how do you know? You're not with me 24-7. I eat a lot. 
and like I said, I like my my sweet tooth to be satisfied every day. Like I eat very well, and it works for me. So 